guys, it's me again, Caroline, coming to you with another Timu haul. I'm not outside today because it is really, really hot and I have the filter going and the chickens are just very noisy. They're laying a lot of eggs, so I'm filming it inside. With that said, I have a lot of glare and I do have curtains. They, I, I have, it's still coming in, so I apologize. I'm going to try to move my head because I know that there is glare. So I will try my best, but I'm wearing my Timu earrings that I got from the last haul. And the baby shower was beautiful. Everything was gorgeous. I can't wait. She looks stunning. She does. I can't wait. Can't wait. Okay. So let's begin. Um, all right. So I'm going to start off with some gifts. I've prepared like little gift things for people. A lot of October birthdays are coming up, so why not? And I know sometimes Timu has been taking a little bit longer to get here. Usually on average, it was like two weeks and now it's like three weeks and some items aren't in yet and some are engravable. Some things I ordered were engraved, so of course that's gonna bring it back. But anyway, I pre-ordered stuff in July and yeah, for my October friend's birthdays, so. All right, so let me begin with this. We have, I know, my daughter works with a teacher and she loves anything leopard print. So I got her these and I will open it because I plan on putting it in a gift, gift bag. I apologize if I don't open things right away because you know I want them to be preserved for gifts. But as we all know, these, these items come smushed and dented and beat up. So when you give them for Christmas and you plan on giving them in the original box, you gotta try and keep it as, as intact as possible. So that's why I don't always take everything out. But these I'm going to take out because I plan on putting these in a gift bag. So these were a size 41. I'm assuming they're her, I mean, I don't know. I don't know her shoe size, but. So I got her these, okay. And you know what, there's a lot of give to it if they are tight. I thought these were super cute. Then I also got her this cute purse set, leopard print. And it's like a key ring or key holder. And it comes like that. Oh my God, I love it. And these are like silicone beads, very cozy. Not cozy, but comfortable. And she could put her ID or her ID here or for her credit cards here. And it has a little leopard tassel. And then I'm putting it all, oh wait, I did get her something else, hold on. Okay, so I got her these leopard print sunglasses. I love these, I'm not gonna put them on because you know, they look like this, really pretty. I don't know if I'm gonna give it to her like in here like that or in the box. The box ironically is not destroyed. And I got her this. This is a big lunch bag. Cause you know, it's all about lunch for us teachers. <laughs> and it's big. So she could put a lot in here and it has a strap. This is so pretty. And it says, I don't know, something. Look how big it is. I mean, this is big. So just to give you a reference point, if I put, wow, okay. And then put these in there and then her sunglasses. And I think this makes a really cute gift. It really does. And maybe I'll get like um, craft uh, brown tissue paper to come out. I think that looks really cute. And she's so nice to, she's so good to Christina. And you know what? I am, I'm just so grateful that, you know, they work so nicely. And I think she's a, she's a doll. She's a very sweet young woman and she's trying her hardest. She really is. And, um, I like to show my appreciation to people. I don't have to be related to them. I don't have to be like that, 
but sometimes people need a little acknowledgement and appreciation. So I like to give her little things around her birthday or I'd like to give stuff to her little son for his birthday. So I got this for my son for Christmas. This is not that busted up. So, um, <laughs> he's got lots of devices and um, he doesn't spend much time at home. In fact, he's rarely ever here, but I thought that when he is here, because he's always working, not a bad thing. I got him one of these. So what you do is, and this is how it looks in the, it's supposed to have a clock and um, a sleep aid sound machine, um, a charging station, and you can answer the phone from it and it's dimmable. So I thought this was really cool for him. One thing about my son, he does not like to, he doesn't like light. He needs those blackout curtains so he could sleep. So I'm hoping that the light that's given off of this is not gonna give him a, it won't be a problem, but who knows if it does, he can always hand it over to his sister. She sleeps with the lights on. She's like me. I need to have a, a, a light or something going on. I need my coffee. It looks, it's very deceiving out there. It looks so beautiful and tranquil, but it's like, it's vile. So the next set of gifts I got is for my co-teacher. And um, she loves to, to write. And she used to do poetry when she was younger. And so anyway, so I got her this set and I'm not gonna open the book, but you guys can see what the outside looks like. It's a journal and it's embossed in like, um, I have it upside down. It's embossed, so it has like that um, gold leaf kind of pattern with the tree of life. And the pages are not dated, but they are lined. And to go with that, I think I'm gonna make this look really pretty. This came really, really nice. To go with that, I got her this beautiful pen. I have the same one, but I chose the option to not have the box, so mine was cheaper. But if you want the box, it's a little bit more money. And I thought that and this is really pretty. So I could keep everything in the original boxes because everything came unsmushed. Her birthday's in October. And with that, she loves clocks. She just, she loves, she inherited her grandfather's, um, not cuckoo clock, it's the, I have a big one, grandfather clock. We have the same grandfather clock, isn't that funny? And that's usually, you don't usually find duplicates of those, but of the, of the style. So she loves clocks. She loves ornate antique clocks. So I got her while she's writing in her journal, I got her this, nice pocket watch and it kind of goes with the whole theme and of course you just what's that red thing what's that red thing okay you push the button we all know how these work and it is a functioning watch okay and it comes in this pouch which is even nicer but i'm going to keep it in here just in case and it, it totally matches the whole thing matches and i'll put it they do sell like those boxes, those cross body bought wooden boxes for artists. You know, you wanna, you find a nice apple tree and let me sketch this. You know, I was gonna, but that's going overboard because she's, <laughs> she doesn't need that whole thing. But I thought this was a cute gift. I also got her um, a necklace and um, I had it engraved with her, uh, with her name and her birth date and it has the birthstone and it was like four dollars engraving was just free so that's what's taking that order so here you go i mean this whole gift now granted i don't know i'll have all all the prices listed below i don't always get to it in time because by the time i upload something i can't put anything in the description until it's done uploading so first it has to go through a whole uploading process after that, it has to go through a processing process. 
After that, they have to check for, you know, if there's anything, why it should not be monetized. While this whole process is going on, I can't put, I can't go back and forth. So that's why sometimes an hour later, sometimes longer, I, I put the links. And I don't need to put the links. I'm not sponsored. Um, I don't benefit from anything by putting links. But I do it because, you know, I, I love you guys and I want you guys to be able to get a hold of these great finds and prices. So that's why I, I do it. Um, but anyway, so I'm trying to think. $10, this was about five, 15. The watch was about three, 17, 18, 19. And then her necklace, I spent about 25 bucks and it really looks like I spent more. And I, I love the whole idea. So you could come up with like gift ideas and themes just based on, you just plug it in in the search bar. Okay, enough of that conversation about gifts and stuff. So I have an Etsy shop and I make purse charms. And I make a lot of um, purse dangles, um, very beaded up, bead, beaded up. And um, I like that, that's my style. I don't have one now on my purse, but. So anyway, sometimes in transit, you know, I worry about, because I use glass beads, crystal beads. So it's good to have these. And I found these, these are so cute. I think I got a whole bunch, they're pockets. So I could put there, I, I wrap everything, it's complimentary. Um, I wrap it in a nice tissue and then, um, I figured if I put it in here, this is extra protection while it goes in transit. And you get quite, I think you get 10, and I think it was less than $2, and it's pink. <laughs> so I'm really happy I found these. I'm gonna buy more. I haven't had a lot of orders lately, but it should be suffice. Okay, so I got that. Next I got, this is for my daughter for Christmas. Like I said, and I keep repeating this in every video, but for my son and my daughter, well, not so much my son anymore because I kind of did it for his birthday, but I have a, and it's getting too big for the bag. I might have to get her a second bag. I have duffel bags and I'm putting all their gifts in duffel bags, but I'm gonna wrap the gifts and put it inside the duffel bag. But then there'll be other gifts because we just can't, as your duffel bag, it's not, it's not gonna, you know, but, I think Christina's duffel bag now is filled to the brim with gifts. I haven't wrapped them yet, but I just could tell. Um, but this is gonna probably have to be like additional gifts or whatever, or put it inside something else. So she likes to bring like leftovers to work. She loves her soups. She loves pasta. She loves her rice. So I got this and this keeps it warm. Oh, it's the, uh, the silicone part that won't allow it. Okay. So it says soup, enjoy healthy life cup. Okay, it's pink. And you open it up and it has the spoon, right? And I like this because it is stainless steel. I don't like the plastic stuff because you know me and plastic and carcinogens. I never put anything plastic with heat. It's just too scary. So it'll stay warm and then she can have it in her little lunch bag. So I thought this was a cute gift. I'm gonna miss her when she, cause right now she's commuting to college um, and she works at this little daycare slash preschool. She loves it. She just loves, she's gonna be a teacher like me. Um, but when she goes away to her four-year college, I'm not going to be able to do cute like things, things like this. I started making her her bento box lunches. I mean, that's not normal. Mm -hmm. But I like it. You know what it is? I was a working mom. I worked through my pregnancy after I had my babies. I just, I worked all the time. Daycare. Because I couldn't afford to stay home. So when they were toddlers and when they were young, I, I just didn't, I mean, I made their lunches. Lunchables was a big thing in the early 2000s. Um, I resorted to Lunchables. Like I didn't, I didn't, I, I feel like I didn't do enough. You know, I worked hard so they can have more, but in hindsight, I probably should have made different decisions. So I guess I'm making up for it now by making their lunches. It's crazy. Okay, so here we go. I got that. Okay, I got this. This is beat up. 
It's called a sunset lamp. And I think this is like all the rage on TikTok. And what you do is it has a suction, a suction cup. And I, I think you have to charge it, but I don't even know how this goes on. Or it has to stay charged, yeah. It's supposed to give you, like I said, my daughter sleeps with the light on. So I figured this was, it'll give you a sunset feeling. Very, very calming. And it has the, I cannot believe, I'm not even, I haven't even gotten through hardly, not even a quarter of what I have. And I'm already yapping for 19 minutes. I do this to myself. And then I try and edit. And then when I edit, when I edit certain parts, it, it, it makes me look like an idiot. You know, I'm in the middle of a sentence or, or I'm showing one thing and then I edit it. And next thing you know, I'm sipping coffee and I'm holding up a dish rag. It doesn't make sense. If I have them too long, then it takes forever to process and forever to upload and then for them to monetize. So, you know, this is like a whole day's work. It's a whole day's work. So that's why I don't like them too long. Okay. So I got this, and like I said, I'm putting together a bag for my daughter-in-law, the one who's having the baby. And I also got her, she's a teacher as well, the family of teachers, this for her lunch bag. And same thing, you know, she can do 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 walk around, but no one does that. And then, um, which is interesting about this one, you have the, the spoon here, and then of course, once again, stainless steel. So she could bring her leftovers, or she could put like, I don't know, breast milk in here or something. I don't know, whatever. I just thought it was a nice idea. So my kids are like, what's in these bags? Cause I have it all in the study. So they're like, mom, what, what's what, is this garbage? And I go, no, no, it's stuff that um, mommy has to just, you know, bring to the classroom. But it's actually gifts. And then I'm gonna put it somewhere in the basement. And then, like I said, the few weeks before Christmas, I'm gonna take everything out, categorize, Michael, Christina, this one, that one, husband, friends, that one, boo, 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 rap, 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 donna basta finito. And then I got this from my son too. This was kind of expensive. And then I think that, no, they didn't go down in price. This is one of the, I'm not taking this out because this, this first of all, it's like, there's a sticker that goes around it. And, but you guys could see, there's other videos on these, how it expands and you could actually charge. It's a three charging station, your watch, your earbuds and your phone. This was 11 something, but I think in the beginning I saw them for less, like $9, whatever. I could always get a price adjustment if it ever goes on sale. All right, I got this from my husband. I'm always hearing him sing in the shower. He puts his phone, you know, by on the vanity. And then he's like listening and rocking on to his songs from the seventies. And um, I figured he could do that and jam out in the shower. This has a suction cup and he could listen to his, it's not charged, but just connect it. You know what I mean? Like, and then, so this will be a stocking stuffer for my husband, all mushed up. I would pay to have everything in a box. I also got this from my husband. I didn't get it for him in pink. He loves like all those old retro games. This is supposed to be like a mock Game Boy. And, but you know what? It has the batteries and everything. What's really funny is the screen is halfway off. Maybe if I... Oh, now I made the screen worse. Maybe there's a way I could take the, oh yeah, there is a way. Uh-oh, what I do? I just took this off. Well, you know what? Maybe I could fix it. Okay, all right. I'm the daughter of an engineer, so this might, I might have something here. I did it! All right, not so stupid after all. <laughs> it's a joke the daughter of an engineer because my father was um, an engineer and he um, he could he was very intelligent very intelligent 
and he was able to figure out things and put things together. I saw the man broke things apart just to put them back together, see how they worked. When he was a little boy, he used to break, break, he used to take apart transistor radios and see how they were inside and then challenge himself to put all the wires together. He worked with a lot of circuit, you know, the circuit things, I don't know. He was an aeronautic, aeronautic engineer, aerospace engineer. I don't know, he did something with things that fly. The space shuttle, he worked on the cockpit. He did something with the F-111. I don't know. I didn't inherit his intelligence. So whenever something that has to be put together and I mess it up or I'm being challenged and everyone laughs, that's right, you're the daughter of an engineer. Okay. This I got from my husband because he does a lot of recruiting and he has to sit and, you know, watch a lot, you know, to see who he wants to uh, recruit. So I got this for him and I was like, oh, this is perfect for him. But I noticed it has cat ears and I don't know, will he look like a big dope? Like sitting at, um, how does this work? Sitting at a, sitting at a, you know, sitting in one of his uh, folding chairs as he's watching people to recruit and he's got this thing with, I don't know, oh, he could hide it. So this was a stocking stuffer for him. If he doesn't like the ears, he doesn't, he could hide the ears or I'll just keep it for myself. And that's all I gotta say about that. This was another baby gift. These are teething rings and you just gotta put them together. Oh, I cannot believe how many newfangled things they have for babies now. It's unbelievable. It's just unbelievable. Everything suction cupped. Everything, this way they don't make messes when they're in their high chair. In fact, high chairs, we don't need them anymore because we got suction cupped little seats. You could stick kids anywhere now. I used to hate giving them rice or pasta in their high chair because everything would be on the floor. And of course I had those mats, you know, you pick it up. But there was always those like rogue pieces of rice or pasta. You know what I did? I didn't pick it up right away because it was wet. I'd wait for it to dry and then I'd go by with the vacuum cleaner. I just stick the kid on the table now. Anyway, I like these. For each of my tote bag people, I'm gonna put this on the outside and get a like ch chapstick or whatever they like. Maybe I'll surprise them and get them all like one of those Dior, the real one, not the dupe one. I only wear the dupes. Um, Dior lip gloss or something and put one in each of these and then put this on the on their backpack. That'd be a nice little surprise. So I got three of them. One for my daughter, one for my son's girlfriend and one for her BFF who is like family. In this house, it's not about blood relation. DNA doesn't really matter to me, it doesn't. I love you, you know, if you're in my life and you're, you treat my family well and me and you're, you're part of our family, I will bring you in. Oh, I got a lot of these. So now, and they're on sale now, and that figures. Okay, so you know how I got a Stanley Duke for all my coworkers and I was gonna put it inside a, um, I need coffee. I'm at a half an hour. I thought, you know what? They all need a little, one of those little straw things to go on top. So I got one with white and a pink. It looks like a little flower. Actually, I got three of those. So I got three of those and I got, this is a black one. That'll go with my black. No, it won't go with my black one. I don't, I don't think he'll want one of these on his. I don't know. This will go on one of them with a blue flower. This one's so pretty. This is a powder blue with a pink flower. And a hot pink. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting to do that. Someone had commented that sometimes the, um, the camera zones in on my eyes instead of the actual item. I apologize, I keep forgetting about that. All right, then I got more nails. I love these, these are beautiful. These are all a different color. I wore these, these have been on 
for like three weeks now and they're short. And I think the shorter the nail, the longer they last. But um, I put gel on top and that, that seems to do the trick. I got myself, and I'm gonna wear this actually right now because I love this. Again, I'm not gonna go on and on about my encounter with a dragonfly, but I got that and it's a beautiful dragonfly. This, this was selling out too, or they just lied and they wanted me to buy it, but I'm gonna wear this as a chain. So I think it'll look very pretty. So that's that, I like that. I don't want it to oxidize though. I hope maybe I, now nah, I'm gonna wear it. Okay. Then I got lots of jewelry. These are boho. These are boho earrings. You know what? These earrings go with I might give these to her in a little box because as she's journaling she could whittle with her earrings. These are pretty too. They kind of remind me of amber. These are really pretty. All right, all right. And all these earrings were less than a dollar. Sometimes I do that. I do like the sort with the jewelry and I start from lowest to highest. But these are made with resin and like little crystals. These were 71 cents. I don't know if you guys can see them. Very pretty. I got something to put all my jewelry in because I just don't have any room. It's, it's, it's a struggle. I got these earrings because um, I like big hoops. Like that. Isn't that pretty? Then I got these, these were, they looked bigger, but actually it's best they're not, because these are really big, the ones I'm wearing, and these were also less than a dollar. I got them in these um, bronze and silver. Do you see these? These are really pretty. And they're not too big. They're perfect. These are a perfect, perfect size. Yeah, these aren't crazy. These you could wear to work. Not that it matters what you know earrings you wear to work, because I'm going to be wearing a lot of crazy earrings. But you know, certain places they want you to be a little bit more reserved. That wouldn't be the place for me. <laughs> These were trending, and it's so funny because I remember in the '80s, my mother and her friend Audrey went to a jeweler to get these in tricolor. Uh, gold. It was like pink and, it, and they, it was like all the rage, like the tricolor jewelry, uh, gold, tricolor gold. So these are posts. Like I said, I don't wear posts a lot, but these are nice too. Definitely like this is a classy look to me. This is like a cocktail party. This is um, if you're going to the Kentucky Derby. These, and I asked my daughter, have you seen those those earrings, they look like big teardrops or Hershey Kisses. She's like, no, mom, I, I don't see how she could have missed it. But I got these. Now, I saw these on Amazon here. Let me just hold them up with something behind it. These are, oh, these are pretty, very well made. I, I can't look my nails, but this is how they look. Amazon sells these for ranging from different sellers, $15 um, and up. I got these for 70 something cents. I don't know if they're still gonna be that price, but you know, sometimes, you know, I gotta be in fashion. I gotta be in fashion. I got two of these. This was supposed to go in the tote bag, but of course it's, it's clearly not. In white and one in pink. Now, I'm not gonna take this out. I saw someone try and do take this out with, with it. This doesn't go with it. This is just for packaging. But they, they were trying really hard to put it back in. It was hard. So basically, this is a thermos, okay? Look how pretty that is with the rose gold, like, 
Okay, you push it. Let me see, does that one work? All right, hold on. Hold on, let's see this. Oh, look at that. Okay, I got it now. So I got one in white or cream color, and, one, and so you can wear these like a crossbody. And this is for your water, you know, and you can carry it around or when you're going to like a stadium or a concert or whatever, um, you could wear it so this way you don't have to have something else, you know, in your way, you know, just having to carry it. So I thought these were great, especially for like college girls, you know, sometimes you want to carry as minimal things as you as you have, but at the same token, you need certain things. I also got my daughter another brush. It's pink. It's the kind that's a detangler. Um, oh, what's this? It's a box. With styrofoam. This is a brandy glass. I got this from my son. He loves his uh, whiskey and his brandy, but look. You clearly could not see that, but it holds, like it doesn't tip. Like if it, it obviously can't go like that. Isn't that cool? Oh, he's gonna love that. I got this from my house down south because I have, I hate how tissue boxes just look hanging around. So I thought this was so unique. So this is like, you put your box of tissues. I don't know if this, if this, is for like your standard box of tissues because sometimes your standard box, oh yes, it, it can, it can. So you unsnap this and you put your box of tissues and of course you have one flaring out, one tissue, and it just looks more aesthetically pleasing. You know, because I have a lot of beige and like, and I could just put that out and display it. You know what, I am going to put this away right now because I'm going to be going down again. <laughs> In a few days, I have so much jewelry and I just don't, I have jewelry um, organizers all over my vanity and it's taking up, there's no space for the toothpaste. There's no space for the faucet anymore. So I figured I got two of these and you hang them up with a hanger, right? Yes. Okay. And you could put stuff on both sides. So here, this is this is how it looks. I'm putting the smaller uh, jewelry pieces here, and then maybe you could put your bracelets or whatever, your larger pieces, and your necklace on the back. So I have two of these. I'm actually gonna get going on this as soon as I um, am done editing and putting stuff in the description box and food shopping. Yeah, and then I'll do it. Then there's this box. I don't know what this is. I need some coffee. Oh, I remember getting, oh, this is so pretty. Okay, let me put this together. And it looks like this. And it comes with all the little stones and the plate and this, and it's just, this goes with my decor in the kitchen or will because we're getting our counters redone. So I thought this would look really pretty, but do you see what I mean? Like they just kind of like, okay. Like they didn't put time into it, but that's okay. Cause I could just remove it and redo it. And if you want to give this as a gift, you could maybe put something, you can write something with one of those paint pens, like, um, home sweet home or whatever or the blank family and then I don't know is that it that's it thank you so much for watching I even have more stuff um, but I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna take it easy all right I have so much to do today have a blessed and wonderful Monday take care guys